everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this kind of plant little holder or carrier little case. So if I bring it to the side, you can see there I've got this really cute little plant and then that's how it looks from the top. So it says thanks a bunch and I've put this little vellum flower. But if you just take this Velcro piece off, that's what happens. So again, if I pop it on the side, you see this whole piece is just two large pieces of pretty cardstock and then inside I've decorated this lovely little flower as well Pop it on its side can you see there with the same papers so it just makes a very inexpensive these were two pound so they're very very cheap to pick up a very cheap gift it just makes it into something that little bit more special and I love these I think they're really nice I wanted a way to make these nice little plants just nicer to give than just as they were and again it's hard to kind of hold but you can see there how it looks when you see it straight on and I'm using those beautiful papers from Forever Free by First Edition which I'll show you in a moment and you can see on the back there and it's got a lovely shine to it this particular cardstock the handles are separate again I'm going to talk you through how to do that and then these are the little kind of um, uh, die cut pages that you just fussy cut them out um, yeah, really, really easy to do. So let's just pop that onto one side. This is what you're going to need. And this is the paper pack, so that's the Forever Free. So that is the sheet there, which I've showed in a tutorial before here. These are great, so easy to cut out, and you can just cut them through your trimmer because a lot of the sides are just straight anyway. So you kind of just roughly cut them with scissors and then go around them. But they're brilliant, and I love that one. You know, thanks a bunch. It works perfectly for the gift that I've got there. But um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful papers. Okay, so all you're going to need for this one is one piece of 12 by 12, which is going to be for the square kind of base, because that's separate. Then you need two pieces that are 5 by, I believe it was 12. Oh, gosh. Yeah, 5 by 12, so two pieces. And then, move that one off there. Then... You need two pieces that are five by five and a half, and this is for our handle. Then to make the little kind of um, closure, you need a piece that is three by two. Then something to stick over it. So this one I've just got special friend. Bring it up there, okay. That's gonna stick over that like so. And then I just need to get my little vellum flower as well, which I'll have just on the top there. Then this piece here is just to wrap around the plant pot because it's just a black plant pot, plastic one. So I just wanted to disguise it a little bit. And this is a piece of 12 by two and a quarter, but it will depend on obviously how tall or wide your plant pot is. You'll probably have something different. You may want to put some, you know, um, gesso over it just some white you know paint and then maybe put something else to it as well is it entirely up to you that bit you may not want to do that at all so that is completely optional okay so first of all we'll go back to our main 12 by 12 card base um card base <laughs> i'm not making a greeting card your 12 by 12 card stock for your main base that's what i wanted to say so first of all along the 12 inch side you want to score it three and a half and eight and a half okay then rotate your cardstock and you're going to score it three and a half again and at eight and a half again. Then what you want to do is score it three and a half just to the first score line. Sorry. Then what you want to do is score it three just down to the first score line and then at nine just down to the first score line. Okay. And then you want to rotate that cardstock all the way around. So what you've just scored is now at the bottom here and score again. So three just down to the first score line and nine just down to the first score line. And if I bring it up here, you can see there where those score lines just go to there. Now when I cut it out, it will make you know a lot more sense, but you wanna do that with that piece. Then with these two smaller bits that are gonna be our handles, along the five and a half inch side, sorry, this is really bugging me, that white, there we go, it's gone, bugging me. Um, so along the five and a half inch side, you want to score it two and three quarters right through the middle and do that on both pieces. So again, there, two and three quarters. Okay, this small piece here, along the three inch side, you want to score it half an inch. And then you can see that I've just rounded off the corners of that piece there. And that's everything. So you can get rid of the scoreboard. 
Okay, so with this piece here where we've scored everything, just need to burnish those score lines. So really straightforward, just all of the long score lines. The shorter ones are gonna be our cut lines and will form our tabs to stick everything together. Okay, so first of all, I'm just gonna cut down this one here. So you can see where there's that score line, okay, on one of these sides and I've just cut right across into that one there. And then on this side here. Now the reason I've done those kind of um, shorter score lines, which we're gonna cut down in a minute, because there's, you know, you can just have these whole side pieces folded in, fold up like so. Okay, you see what I'm doing there? But I just thought it's just a bit of bulk, you don't need it. And yeah, this is just, you know, little scraps that you can have. So. It's entirely up to you really, once you see what I'm doing, it's it's just a box, a simple box, So, but it's all going to be covered. And um, because we're going to be adding the pattern paper, that was going to kind of reinforce the sides, I just felt you didn't need to, to have it like that. So that's what I've done there. So can you see I've just cut down those two, and you can see now that they're just little tabs. So again, on this one here, I'm just going to cut right down that one all the way down to that score line there. I don't know why I'm using these snips, that's why I'm struggling. Um, yeah, like so. And then that shorter score line, I'm just cutting and removing that piece there. So these are just handy little scraps. I just figured, you know, why waste it? And yeah, that's why. But you can leave them in and just stick them all in together. So again, I'm just cutting down that one there and then cutting down the smaller tab, like so. So that is now what you should have. You've got these little tabs on each side. And all you're gonna do now is add glue and stick each one up. Take off a little bit from the top of each tab just so it doesn't overhang. So that one, that one, that one, and that one. And then just with my wet glue, A bit. Again, you don't need a lot, and then bring that round, bring up that side, and stick it together. But like I said, you may not have that little tab, and then you'll be sticking that whole piece in there. It's entirely up to you. Spread out all that glue, and like so, and there's the corner. So now I'm going to go across to the next one, and again, bring that side around and stick that all down. And by taking that little bit off the top of the tab, it just gives you a much nicer finish on the top, like so. Okay, so just do that on the other side. Okay, so that is now what it will look like. So it's a nice size. Actually, what was the base? It was four by four, because I think you can fit quite a nice size. Oh no, five by five. So yeah, you can fit, you know, a really nice size flower or anything. You might choose to put something else in there. It's entirely up to you. Okay, so next you want to grab these two pieces here. These are absolutely gorgeous papers. And these are going to stick. So you need to decide what you want to be your front and your back. And you're gonna stick it right across the whole piece there because the width of this was five as well. And you can see there, it just sits perfectly over that piece. So you wanna add some glue. Okay, so I've just added my glue there. And then just sit that piece really neatly over the top. Don't worry if it overhangs. If it does overhang, make sure it's got a nice even overhang, so on both sides. You don't need to trim it or anything, because the whole point is to kind of conceal that there is a box behind it from the front. So you just don't want it hanging over the bottom, because obviously you want it to be able to stand up. Like so. See, when you look at it like that, you wouldn't know there's a box until you go to the side. How lovely, really, really nice. And then do that again on the other side. Okay, so now that is what you should have. You can see there how easy this is to construct. So they should all line up nicely, like so. Next we need to attach our kind of handles. So these two pieces here that we scored through the middle, you just want to burnish and fold them in half. And then what I've got here is this is a Spellbinders um, 
die just from a, a nest of rectangles that I've got. I will try and find and share the link to these because it's so handy. I've used this as a handle for lots of different projects. It's just got a really nice size to it. You can see there I can put my hand through it and it's just become one of those really handy go-to dies. So I will see if I can find and share the links to that one if I do come across it. But basically what you want to do is, this is all gonna um, stick down. The reason you just fold it in half is basically just to reinforce it. But before we stick it, because you're gonna end up sticking it over each side, it's gonna be sandwiched between that piece there. So before we do that, we need to cut the handle out. So you are gonna be die cutting through, obviously two pieces of cardstock, but I'm bringing it up higher. So it's coming down because the cut of this is actually in the middle of this kind of metal. It's not on the very outer side or on the very inner side. So just bearing that in mind, I come down about half an inch from the top to where I know that kind of cut line is. And again, coming in about half an inch from both sides. You may have a circle in here. You may do like three circles and you can put three fingers kind of through them like that. It's entirely up to you um, how you want to do this part, but that's where I'm going to do that. And I'm gonna run that through my die machine now. Okay, so I've just run that through and I'm using my big shot and it does cut through both of those pieces. Now obviously, you know, not everybody's will, so just kind of, you might have to run it through a few times, but now I've got that. With that piece, I'm now gonna sit it over the top of the other one, because you wanna make sure that you get these as close, as close as possible. So you need them to kind of marry up. So what I'm gonna do is sit it over the top and then with my pencil, I'm just gonna trace around that one like so. So now I've just got a pencil mark of where that one needs to be and then I can just line that up over the top and I'm just going to run that one through. Okay so now I have both of these and then just sit them over and they should line up. Okay like so. Now we can get them stuck down so I'm going to bring this around and first of all you want to just add glue all inside and just pop it all on one side. Again, you don't need to go crazy. You can use double-sided tape here if you want. Okay, like so. And then on this side, I'm just gonna add it to the half, um, the half, I'm just gonna add it to the bottom half here because the rest is obviously gonna be glued together, but this is gonna go on the other side of your paper. Okay, apologies, the camera, I didn't realize, but it just froze, it stopped after I got to the bit to show you how to stick these on. So I'm gonna to have to just talk you through this part. So basically, you applied, imagine this was open, you had your glue all inside here and here and on the other side of this. You're now gonna, imagine this is the, the top of the, this piece here, you want to just pop it over, it's kind of overlapped here, I can feel the top of it there, it's about half an inch, okay, so that is the top of this cardstock underneath, okay, so you're sandwiching those two sides against that, okay, stick it all down, make sure that's all nice and stuck, and then when you go to stick this one down, just kind of line them up against each other, like this, and then you know that you are covering that part there down the same as well. So you just want to make sure you get them the same height. Then with this piece here, so this is there, you can see where I've stuck it over the top here. So where we've scored it, you want to cover that in glue and stick it over the back of your the back piece here and then just fold it over. And I've stuck that piece onto the top and you can see underneath there how it's stuck down and then I've finished it off with my flower. Now, I do hope that you understand. You, I mean, you can see how it needs to look, so it's pretty, it is pretty, pretty self-explanatory, um, but you're just making sure that the two sides go over this here, okay? And just the key part is getting it lined up. So like I said, just, you wouldn't have that piece on here by now, so just ignore that. You're literally just going to put them together and then you can stick the other one down, making sure that's in the right place as well. So hopefully that has uh, all made sense for you. And apologies there, I have got a lot of stuff on my camera which I need to go through and I also think it needs an update. It's one of those things you kind of forget about. You don't really get told that it needs to be updated or anything like your laptop, so I need to have a look into that. So once again, apologies, but hopefully it hasn't, um, you know, made it that harder for you. But there you have it, two really lovely plant little holders, carriers, or for anything else that you think you may want to use it for as well. Um, it is really nice. With regards to the strip that goes around the plant pot, you basically just wrap it around. It's, it's, there was nothing kind of special about that. You just want to wrap it around and um, 
just add some of your um, ribbon around the top there as well. I did cut little slits up just to kind of make sure you got more of a snug fit. But um, again, it's very, that's really easy peasy. So you haven't missed anything there, but um, yeah, apologies. These things do just happen. So um, yeah, I didn't want to have to do it all again because I don't want to waste all this and I don't need a third one. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching, bye.